And Itra, so it started in the forest and the streams, and then it found its way to the ocean. And now when we see it, we see it roaming the African savanna. What am I talking about? Is this some kind of dumb dad joke? No, I'm so hurt. We're here to talk about board games. In this case, we're talking about Ecosystem Savannah. And this is a snap review for it. Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. Ecosystem Savannah is a card game for up to six players, adapted by Steve Schlepphorst and Daniel Davalos. It's published by Genius Games. So let's pause for a minute here and point out that we did a snap review for the last game in the series, Ecosystem Coral Reef. And we'll include a link to it around here. Right up here. Somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Just like the other games in the series, this takes 15 to 20 minutes to play, and it's best for ages 8 and up. There's a little bit of reading involved, and players do need to keep cards secret. But if you've played one of these games before, you'll have a pretty good idea what's up. So let's talk about the art in Ecosystem Savannah. Sure. So Mesa Schumacher was brought on board to do the art for Coral Reef, and her award-winning art is on display here in Savannah as well. The backs of the cards all have this gorgeous African sunset silhouette, and the fronts are, once again, beautiful full-color illustration. There's 11 designs across 132 cards, and you'll never be mistaking one type for another during play. Just like Ecosystem Coral Reef had some differences from Ecosystem, there's new changes in Ecosystem Savannah. So Andrew, let's talk about the mechanics in this game. Sure. So each game is two rounds, and at the beginning of each round, every player is going to get 11 cards. Every player will choose a card from their hand simultaneously, then put it into their own grid, adjacent to at least one other card. When everyone has placed a card, they pass their remaining hand, clockwise in the first round, counterclockwise in the second round. And we've seen this before. After each player has placed 10 cards, they'll discard the last one. At the end of the game, you'll have 20 cards in a 4x5 grid, and it'll be time to score. Hope you placed all those cards in a way that works for you. Just like in the other Ecosystems games, each of the 11 card types scores in a different way. Giraffes score you a meaty 5 points, but only if they're next to a tree. Gazelles are worth 2 points each, but the player with the most gazelles get a 5-point bonus. Of course... Gazelles are faster than, say, lions, which lets them score first on the player sheet, which is important because lions eat gazelles. Lions have to be next to a grassland to score, and if they are, you flip over a gazelle anywhere on your grid to score four points for that lion. But even flipped over gazelle cards are still valuable. Vultures, for one, are carrion feeders. Vultures above flipped over cards in the same column score four points for each flipped card. And that's only four of the 11 unique cards in the game. You'll be creating an entire ecosystem in your grid. Ah. And whoever creates the most efficient one, scoring the most points, will win the game. Well, Anitra, we've played the ecosystems games before, so we came into this with some expectations. What are some of those? All of these ecosystem games take a scientific concept and marry it with game mechanics to create something that's both educational and truly fun to play. That's a genius game staple. Totally. And after playing other games in the Ecosystem series, again, we had a pretty good idea what to expect here. Different animals meant different scoring, but I wasn't sure if it would feel different or if it would feel like we were playing the same game with a different skin on it. Coral Reef didn't deal with any of the problems those ecosystems are facing due to climate change or pollution, so we didn't expect any of that here. But let's talk about what surprised us in Ecosystem Savannah. Well, the cards are still really small. I get it. It helps us build that 4x5 grid. It doesn't entirely take over the table, although it's close. So it is kind of helpful. But it's still surprising that the cards are so darn small. And there's still a lot of cards, which makes it possible for the game to flex up to six players. But just like the other games we've had, games at lower player counts where some of the card types never even showed up at all. I, I guess it's just part of how the game works. Ecosystem Savannah is simpler than Coral Reef. In Coral Reef, every card was part of some sort of food web, which had scores that needed to be collected differently, and then those scores compared to other scores. This game has none of that stuff. You just score each card from the top to the bottom of the score sheet, and you end up with a final score. I was kind of surprised at just how thematic this game felt while scoring very differently than Coral Reef. It was actually really easy for me to remember things like giraffe need to be adjacent to a tree and vultures score for already dead animals beneath them. And of course, cheetahs are the fastest predator, 
So they score gazelles before the Lions get a chance to. <laughs> and I, I had a harder time with this. Like, I had to see how everything would fit together before I could kind of remember what animal did what. But it all made sense, and I appreciated that. It's not exactly a surprise, but I'm glad to see that Ecosystem Savannah includes the same mechanics for two-player and solo gameplay that we saw in Coral Reef, and they still work really well. So, do we recommend Ecosystem Savannah? Yes! The box says it's for ages 8 and up, which is probably about right, but again, this is simpler than Coral Reef. You could play this game with a younger child, although they won't be terribly strategic. There's a lot of scoring conditions to keep straight as you play, but they can still have fun placing out all their cards and seeing what happens. Ecosystem Savannah does a really good job putting the pieces of this ecosystem together, and the scoring timing combined with the position perks of the various cards do a really great job making sense of it all. And hey, let's face it, you'll have fun while you're playing. Yes, you will. <laughs> This is a great game for parents and teachers who are ready to play along with kids. It's also a great game to play alongside learning about the savannah in your science class. Plus, it's small and relatively inexpensive. We're going to give Ecosystem Savannah four watering holes out of five. And that's Ecosystem Savannah in, in a, a snap. snap. Coral Reef didn't deal with any of those... Pr <laughs> Man, it's a good thing we are already cutting there.